Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? In my last Dollar Tree video, for the Michelinus $1 pizza rolls, which were quite good by the way, I mentioned during my last trip to my own personal adult playground that I got a basket full of Dollar Tree's best high quality processed foods to try for you, the people, so you didn't have to. My basket of stash included three different Jimmy Dean's Heat and Eat breakfast items. Now it's no secret, I'm a pretty big fan of Jimmy Dean's products, especially their sausage and sausage gravy breakfast bowls, which were actually made with real food. They were pretty darn good and respectively scored an 8 and 9 out of 10. So I was really excited when I found Jimmy Dean's products at the Dollar Tree. I found the pancakes and sausage bites, the griddle cake sandwich with maple pancakes and sausage, and an English muffin with sausage and cheese. Now if you haven't been paying attention or you've never been to a Dollar Tree, each sandwich was only a dollar because everything at the Dollar Tree is only a dollar or less. Now I don't know if I'm late to the party or what, but I've been noticing something about Dollar Tree frozen products. The products themselves are either discontinued and the Dollar Tree gets all the leftover excess stock or they're being secretly produced. Because believe it or not, I spend a lot of time researching as much about these products so I can provide the most accurate information I can to you, the people. But quite a few of the products that I try from the Dollar Tree, including these Jimmy Dean products, there's very little or no information available on the internet. So let's go over Jimmy Dean's Heat and Serve Pancakes and Sausage Bites. These are chicken sausage links covered in a pancake batter. Now wait just a cotton picking minute. Can you all hear that? The earth shattering, groundbreaking sound, it's the sound of the late great Jimmy Dean rolling in his grave. I mean, why in the hell would a company known for his pork sausage stoop as low and disrespect Jimmy Dean and use chicken sausage? Why not just call these Jimmy Purdue pancakes and sausage bites? The batter ingredients look okay, I guess. If I miss something bad in the ingredients, let me know. But I am happy to see there's some pork mixed in with the chicken sausage. So the pork alone might make it edible. But then I see BHT, and I don't recall seeing this before. So of course, I googled it. And here's the results. The serving size is the whole package, which has 250 calories, 12 grams of total fat, 2.5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 35 milligrams of cholesterol, 630 milligrams of sodium, 26 grams of carbohydrates, 2 grams of fiber, 9 grams of sugars, and 9 grams of protein. The only directions are for the microwave. And I'm supposed to make a 1 inch tear in the pouch and then microwave for 50 to 60 seconds. Then you let them rest for one minute. After heating for one minute and resting for another minute, our pancake and sausage bites are ready. When they were dumped out of the bag, they looked like Dunkin' Donuts munchkins. And they smelled really, really good. So it was time to give one a try. And they didn't look bad at all. But when I bit into it, it was a totally different story. They certainly had maple flavor, but were very, very greasy and soggy. The sausage was very spongy and very bland. It was a pretty bad first bite. Actually, it was a very bad first bite. So we peeled off the batter to try the chicken pork sausage on its own. And I was really surprised at how bland the sausage was for being a Jimmy Dean product. Their sausage is usually pretty good, but not this. And when I said it was spongy, I meant it. Look at that spring. You can play jacks with this sausage meatball. Next up is the Jimmy Dean griddle cake which is a maple flavor pancakes and sausage sandwich. Or, I guess you could separate it and eat it as a meal with or without eggs. Now again, I'm surprised the sausage has chicken in it. But if you notice, there's fewer ingredients in this sausage than there was in the pancakes and sausage bites. The sausage in the pancake bites had oat bran and oat fiber in them. These don't, so that should help with the texture of the sausage. Let's at least hope it does. The serving size is the whole sandwich which has 330 calories, 20 grams of total fat, 6 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 40 milligrams of cholesterol, 620 milligrams of sodium, 31 grams of carbohydrates, less than 1 gram of fiber, 12 grams of sugars, and 8 grams of protein. The instructions say to remove from the package, which I did, and here's what it looked like deconstructed. I would have liked to see the pancakes have more color like in the picture. The sausage patty looked like it was griddled on one side and grilled on the other, but I'm sure the grill marks are from it running through and cooking on a conveyor belt. Now wrap the sandwich in a paper towel 
and microwave for 70 seconds or until hot. After 70 seconds, our sausage griddle cake sandwich was ready. And it was smelling right nice. We cut it in half to see what was going on on the inside. And to be honest, it looked rather boring and paltry. So then it was time for the taste test. And this is exactly why we play the game. Because by the looks of this sandwich, it had no chance of being good. But the sandwich was delicious. I love an underdog. And this one was winning big time. The difference in the sausage with this and in the pancake bites was night and day. It had a great flavor and a mild spiciness to it and just the right amount of fat for it to be juicy with a good texture without it being greasy. The pancakes looked undercooked, but they were also a nice surprise. As you can see, there's a little bit of fat absorbed into the pancake, but that's okay with me. That's flavor, baby. And it's not a greasy, soggy mess. This sandwich was a big surprise. Finally, for the English muffin with sausage and cheese. And I'm gonna assume the ingredients are pretty standard for English muffins. The sausage ingredients are the same as they were for the sausage and griddle cake sandwich. Per sandwich, there's 310 calories, 16 grams of total fat, 7 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 35 milligrams of cholesterol, 710 milligrams of sodium, 29 grams of carbohydrates, 1 gram of fiber, 2 grams of sugars, and 11 grams of protein. We removed the sandwich from the wrapper and wrapped it up into a paper towel and then into the microwave it went. After 70 seconds, it was ready to enjoy. Again, after cutting the sandwich in half, it didn't look like a very substantial sandwich. But you get what you get for a dollar. Into the pie hole it went. And just like the previous sandwich, it was once again, delicious. The sausage, even with the chicken, is delicious. Very flavorful, the texture was good, and it was moist. The English muffin was also great. I was afraid it would be tough and chewy after microwaving, but it was fluffy and tender. The cheese was a nice touch, but a little bit of yellow mustard would have sent this sandwich straight to Flavortown. I was very happily surprised with two out of three of these Jimmy Dean products. The pancakes and sausage bites, I wasn't a fan of at all. There was nothing at all I liked about them, so I'm not even gonna rate them. But both the griddle cakes and sausage sandwich and the English muffin with sausage and cheese sandwich, both were fantastic. I don't really have any complaints about either one other than I wish it was a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna give both of these sandwiches a very strong nine out of 10. These are something I wouldn't mind having in my freezer and eating on occasion. They're pretty darn good. If you'd like to help support the Wolf Pit, consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month. That's only $12 for the whole year. Or you can pledge more. That's up to you. Either way, every little bit's appreciated and helps me produce more high quality videos more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you soon.